before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Gulf Luxury, Pebble Beach, California. Gee links, Pebble Beach has been the number one course ever since. We, it's not just the greatest meeting of land and sea in American Gulf, but the most extensive one too. With nine holes perched immediately above the crashing Pacific surf, the 4th through the 10th plus the 17th and 18th, Pebble 6th through 8th are Gulf's real aim and corner, with a few Hail Marys thrown in over an ocean cove on 8th from atop a 75-foot high bluff. Pebble hosted another U.S. Amateur in 2018 and its 6th U.S. Open in 2019, Pacific Dunes, the second course built at Bandon Dunes Resort. To best utilize ocean frontage, Tom Doe came up with an unorthodox routing that includes four par threes on the back nine. Holes seem to emerge from the landscape rather than being superimposed onto it. The rolling greens and rumpled fairways are framed by rugged sand dunes and marvelously grotesque bunkers. The secret is Doe moved a lot of earth to make it look like he moved very little. Whistling's Trades P. Dye transformed a deadlet abandoned army airbase, along with a two mile stretch of Lake Michigan, into an imitation Bally Bunyan at Whistling Straits, peppering his rugged fairways and whimswept greens with 1,012 at last count bunkers. There are no rakes at Whistling Straits, in keeping with the notion that this is a transplanted Irish lynx. It has too much rub the green for the comfort levels of many tour pros, two dozen of whom will tackle the straits again in the 2021 Ryder Cup. The Ocean Course The first course designed for a specific event, the 1991 Ryder Cup, this manufactured lynx land meets lagoons layout might well be P. Dye's most diabolical creation. Every hole is edged by sawgrass, every green has tricky slopes, every bunker merges into bordering sand dunes. Strong along nearly three miles of ocean coast, Dye took his wife's advice and perched fairways and greens so golfers can actually view the Atlantic surf. That also exposes shots and puts to ever-present in sometimes fierce coastal winds. Shadow Creek one of a kind and maybe Tom Fazio's finest work ever. Shadow Creek plays like a musical composition in three movements, with alternating heavy beats and light moments, building to a resounding crescendo. Every golfer should experience Shadow Creek at least once. You remember Shadow Creek started out as a private course. It was Golf Digest's best new private course of 1990. Pinehurst Resort in 2010, Bill Corr and Ben Crenshaw led a team that descended on Pinehurst No. 2 and killed out all the Bermuda grass rough that had been foolishly planted in the 1970s. Between fairways and tree lines, they established vast bands of native, hard pan sand dotted with clumps of wire grass and scattered pine needles. They reduced the irrigation to mere single rows in fairways to prevent grass from ever returning to the new sandy wastelands. Playing firm and fast, it was a wildly successful fortnight when the 2014 men's and women's U.S. Opens were played on consecutive weeks at number two. Because of its water reduction, the course was recently awarded a Green Star Environmental Award by Golf Digest. It will host the 2014 U.S. Open. Bandon Ore Dunes Maybe not as visually mesmerizing as Whistling Straits, which it beat for Best New Upscale Public Course of 1999, but talented golfers consider Bandon Dunes to be the consummate shot maker scores, as good at total examination of one's game as there is in America. What's more is that the holes are a more natural fit into the windswept terrain than the mammoth mounded straight scores. Bandon Dunes is also ranked 6th among our 50 most fun public courses. Beth Page State Park Black Gone are its rock-hard trees, gravely bunkers, patchy fairways, and patchy greens. Beth Page Black now has the conditioning of a US Open or PGA Tour stop, both of which it has been in recent years. No need to sleep in the parking lot just to get a tea time anymore. Just go online. But you may still have to verify your handicap. As a sign on the first tee states, Beth Page Black is an extremely difficult course recommended only for highly skilled players. The Black will host its first Ryder Cup in 2025. Aaron Hills GCSE Despite the legend spread by many, Aaron Hills wasn't designed specifically to host 
a U.S. Open. Its original concept was to be simple, affordable. Lay off the land, lay out the proved Mother Nature is indeed the best golf architect. The concept changed. Some greens moved, one blind par three eliminated, as the quest for a U.S. Open grew. After trial rounds hosting the 2008 U.S. Women's Pub Links and the 2011 U.S. Amateur, Aaron Hills hosted the 2017 U.S. Open, the first time the event was played in Wisconsin. Spyglass Hill CSE Given the task of designing a course just up 17-mile drive from Pebble Beach and Cypress Point, Robert Trent Jones responded with a combination of Pine Valley and Augusta National. The five opening holes in Pine Valley, like sand dunes, are an all-too-brief encounter with the Pacific Sea Coast. The remaining holes are a stern hike through hills covered with majestic Monterey Pines, which, sad to say, may someday disappear to pitch kinker, but are being replaced in some areas with cypress trees and several water hazards that harken back to the 16th at Augusta, a hole which Trent Jones designed by the way. And you have what some panelists consider to be Trent's finest work. Others say it's the best course never to have hosted a major event. After all, even Pine Valley and Cypress Point have hosted Walker Cups. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.